Idaho Falls, Idaho, southeast of Idaho Falls, Idaho, about 15 miles out in the country, in farmland, obviously. At a wind land. turbine site. There's lots of cows. Next and to so, a wind turbine blade. Yes, so this is a wind turbine blade behind us. And this blade is approximately 50 meters long. And as you can see, as far as height, it's about uh, close to 20 foot in width and 100 and uh, with, with two blades. Obviously, the swipe of a turbine is 100 meters. And the blade, the actual turbine is about roughly about uh, 150 meters uh, from top to bottom so they're pretty pretty big and the blades how uh, a turbine runs is that it is solely run on wind obviously but it's kind of like a uh, if you've ever had a pinwheel and you've blown into a pinwheel and seen the rotation of the pinwheel these turbines are the same way they the wind blows across the blade and it creates power, it turns a, a gearbox and then it uh, turns what they call a generator and that generator creates power. So when that power then goes underground, you don't see any power lines here and it goes over to what we call a substation and that substation then puts the power out in your home and in your house and when you flip a light switch, you have power. You have a light that goes on. So it's pretty simple but very complicated at the same time. That's awesome. So the length of the pool is like the size of a football field and then each blade is like half a football field. So mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy just so you guys can put that in perspective. And sometimes you guys might see them um, on the highway because they have to transport them to the wind turbine site on a semi truck trailer. Mm -hmm. So you guys have probably seen that. And it has an extra wide load sign so you have to stay clear. Um, but some of Miss Tracy's fourth grade students have some questions for my dad who works on a wind turbine farm and helps manage the site. And so my dad has not heard any of these questions, <laughs> so we're going to see how well he can answer these so that a fourth grader can understand what he's talking about. Because I'm sure whenever he was explaining what that meant or what a what wind, wind energy was, Maybe some of you guys didn't really understand that. <laughs> Lester's not very happy right now. Why are you but, uh, He Buster. probably didn't like it. You guys saw me kind of measuring Buster, Buster to see how many Busters were like to the height of this. And it was like that. one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six. But in the middle, it'd probably be like ten. Ten, 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 little, ten little Busters about 20, for the width. Twenty Busters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, busters so I guess the first question was how tall are they, which we basically answered was... 100 meters? Yeah, well, the, the circumference of the swipe when the blade goes around is 100 meters across. Which, that's from, about the size from, of a football field. From the blade tip to Plus the blade tip, minutes. it's 100 meters, which is about a, a football field. Awesome. Do they hit birds? Occasionally. What happens if they do? They die. And then one of the kids says, can you eat them? Mm, if they well, kill the birds. <laughs> no, but insects eat them and birds eat them. Other birds eat them. <laughs> So it makes food for other animals. Coyotes. Uh, <laughs> and then it can also be fertilizer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can they stop spinning? Absolutely. And why would they stop? Two reasons. One is to repair them and maintain them to do uh, like changing oil in your mom and dad's vehicle. These turbines have oil that we change in them and put filters in them. And we talked about earlier how they have two people always going together to like uh, do the maintenance on them or to check them because you want to be safe and make sure you double check and do the job right and stuff. So, and so, so they yeah. stop them to stop and then also if it's not So working. what's the other reason? Oh, like this turbine over here it's... Oh it uh, just stopped right now. Yeah it stopped. So why did it stop? It's probably either has a problem or it's yawing trying to unwind itself. Oh, okay. So when it gets to a certain winding it's kind of like a rubber band you tighten it so so tight it has to relieve itself and has to go backwards because that it, may be what it's doing the wind turbines will turn at the top to catch the wind so they spin based on how the wind is uh, going. so the top rotates directions based on which direction the wind is going which is mm -hmm. pretty cool um where okay the first way they worded it was where do the wind turbines live hashtag basically where are they located 
Well, Gosh, these, where do they live? <laughs> these turbines live in uh, a pasture that's out in Idaho Falls, Idaho. But and, how do they decide where to put them? Yeah. Well, they decide by obviously where the best wind is, and they take, they study it, and they plant plant what they call met towers, a meteorolog meteorological tower that measures wind. And that's the weatherman. And that's the weather guys. You see the weather guy that's on TV that tells you about forecast. Well, they forecast the wind and where the best wind is. Awesome. Can they injure you? I'm assuming they mean if the blade hits you when it's spinning. Or if you fall well, off the top of the tower. Well, if you fall off the top of the tower, of course, we're we wear a safety harness every time we're out outside of the nacelle that's the top of the top of the turbine that's called a nacelle and sometimes we have to go out and repair things that's outside of like uh, we have some instruments that measure the wind and which direction the wind is coming from so if that if that fails we have to go out and repair that or replace those instruments when we go out out there we have a harness that's strapped on to your body and then we have what they call a lanyard, and that's strapped onto a, to a uh, an anchor that will prevent us from falling to the ground. Awesome. Do the wind turbines ever fall? Yes. They fall over. Yes, they will. I've seen them, and okay. it's usually because of either poor construction or the uh, there was a sometimes a blade will, if you have like a what they call a runaway blade. It'll, it'll speed really fast and, and it'll actually strike the uh, side of the turbine. And uh, these are turbines that were first put up several years ago, like 19, in uh, the 1970s. Oh, okay. And they didn't have that technology quite figured out, so they had some failures. So did they learn from their failures? Absolutely. And that's also why they're doing maintenance on them, so they can like watch them all the time and see what they're doing so that that doesn't happen. Let's see, how do you transport them? We talked about that being on trucks. On semis. Semis. And sometimes they bring them in on helicopters. Helicopters. In some of the very remote areas that they, that they can't get a, uh, like a 100 foot semi with the blade and the trailer up to a site. They bring them in by, by helicopter. And then they, how do they put them up when they like get to the site? They got a big crane that's uh, 550 ton crane which is massive the wheels are about 20 foot wide each track is 20 foot wide wow. they're huge can they uh, put them in the ocean and water too yes they can so do they use a crane to put them in the water too? a crane on a boat big boat oh, that's cool yeah um when you answered they stay on because of the wind can they cut something well, if they hit it hard enough, it'll it'll blunt it. But the the tip of the blade, when it's running at full production, the tip of that blade is running approximately 200 miles an hour. So could it injure and cut? <laughs> yes. What's this constructed? It's a lot of a lot of fiberglass. Fiberglass and. Uh, so what are the things this fiberglass in? What they do what? What other things is made out of oh. fiberglass? So the kids know what that means. Fiberglass. Uh, what other your things car, are like a car bumper. Okay. A vehicle, like a, a bumper or a, uh, like the side of some vehicles are made of fiberglass. So lots of car bumpers. Bumpers would make and this. hoods and, and different, different components on a vehicle. Awesome. And some, even the frame of a car is made of fiberglass. So, what would a tornado? How would a tornado affect a wind turbine if there was a tornado? Uh, we've actually had some instances of 80 mile an hour winds up here, and the turbines stop. When it reaches 52 miles an hour, they stop. They, what the, what'll happen is the blades will pitch. This is when it's the wind's blowing against it to create the wind. The the turbine, the blades to turn. So what'll happen is it'll pitch the blade to 90 degrees. The wind blows across it. So when it gets up to, up to that 52 miles per hour, it'll, it'll pitch and when it'll just pinwheel. So what'll happen, and we've had winds and some, uh, we have one particular part of the park that has a phenomenon called wind shear, which it's when you got three different winds coming from three different directions 
at one point. And it will literally, we had one that actually broke a blade like a toothpick. Wow, that makes sense why they weren't from Mount Washington. So <laughs> my students last year learned about Mount Washington where there were three different um, jet streams that merged mm -hmm. together. And so that would make sense why they have don't a have a wind yeah. turbine there because it would just oh, destroy snap them. It, snap it like a toothpick. Do they make more money if it's more windy or less money? Or do they make the same money no matter what? Or convert the most energy? Well, our turbines, uh, a mo uh, roughly a 18 miles per hour wind is about ideal, 18 to 20. So if we can get that wind, that creates our maximum production of the site is what they call 52.7 megawatts, which that's 52 million watts of power and equate that to a light bulb at a 100 watt light bulb. So that's how many light bulbs? 5.2 million light bulbs, approximately. For wind turbine or for the whole for, farm? For, for the whole farm. Every day they can light that many? Yes. Okay.